right, day two at uh, the Arena Open, day one, Crimson Vow Draft. My uh, I'd left a magic running too long and uh, didn't want to work with the uh, when I fired it up beforehand. So let's see if I can actually start the draft this time. That would be 5,000 gems uh, poorly spent if it didn't. As I said before, let's open some bombs or at least get some decent removal. And doing this to force myself to talk out loud, justify my decisions in both play and in the draft portion. Without further ado, let's go. There we go. All oh, right, let's do this, people. Roll up your sleeves. Well, dang. This has got a pretty high win rate, and I like playing with it, and black is a great place to pee. Could be passing Hero's Downfall, though, which is sad. And the Bramble Worm there, good for longevity. Although green isn't an amazing in this format, I've seen it work very well. Banner Stance is not to be sniffed at as well, but this hits the battlefield, it needs to be dealt with a lot. Um, I'm a big fan. The sacrificing mode doesn't tend to get used, used very often, I guess, if they're on one creature, perhaps. But um, one slightly concerning thing is that I imagine the black is going to be cut very hard. But the power level of this is too high to pass up, so I will be first picking it. Um, possibly hoping for the courier about to wheel, travelling minister. All right, what have we got here? So as a follow-up, black red is the direction that we could head into here. The red has been taken. Um, so longer strategy, this is basically unplayable. We can't be second picking the Lancer. Uh, so we're looking at Bat, Scavenger, Recluse, Flame Breather. Honestly, this is a pretty, pretty poor pack. Now, the most synergistic card with this at the moment is the Courier Bat because of the lifelink. Um, or the Diagraph Scavenger because of the Death Touch uh, clause on Henrika. Flyers are actually well, no, fly, combines with Flyers as well. Oh, courier Bat's actually a really good pull here. We both want quite a few Courier Bats. Very odd second pick, but helps remove black from the pack. Oh, I like to see that Felstinger third pick. Um, it's going to make me want to get something sack worthy. Not looking for a second colour yet. <laughs> Looks like white has potentially been taken from these packs. Again, we've actually got three. And commons here, so the rays I'm taking in a couple of commons, I'm getting some of the removal, probably black removal. Um, maybe a grizzly slaughter ritual, whatever it is. Um, nothing to note about on all the other current cat colours. I do like the Lamhole Raconteur, but it's not where we're at. Also, if I just take the fell stinger, there's no black left in this pack, and we're not passing any black at this point. It's another good target for the courier bat as well. Uh, just gives some, some longevity in the games, so I'm definitely taking the Falstinger here. That is a extremely late braid. Uh, I'm also liking seeing the, the Dormant Grove there. I don't think... That was good! Christmas. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I can pass up the. Is it weird me me talking out loud and explaining things? I seem like a friggin' streamer. <laughs> I I can't pass up the abrade here. I would love to get into red black, um, and the fact that I've even got this pick four, again with all the uncommons in the pack still. Um, it's absolutely incredible. 
and there isn't much that's going to stop me taking a second one. <laughs> this is a pretty sick start. I think I'm giving up on green at this point, but that actually might just be working in my favour. This thing's awful, but I've not seen it used to good effect. It's just a bit too slow, it's susceptible to bounce or the XI lane. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to pick up a second braid here. <laughs> this is best of one, so Dread Fugue isn't where I'm at. Some good ish blue cards here. Synergistic, but I think I need to continue cutting the black. Costing a axe as a point of discussion. Um, Notable that you can target your opponent as well, uh, just to punch through an extra two life if you need to. I think we're going to start looking at ways to making blood. Blood is going to be an important way to smooth out our draws, and so this is where we're going to go with this one. Blood Crazy Socialite. Could get a really big and chunky. Oh lordy. Three copies of a braid? Is that too much abrading. I feel like there's just not a lot of red being opened and so it's being ignored. But I'm then passing an Awakening, Blood Fountain, Ritual. I really want a Blood Fountain in this deck, but I have got the Courier Bat. The Ritual's a bit too high, so abrade it is. Bloody Betrayal, Betrayal does work one off very well with the Fell Stinger, it's like a six mana kill spell. Reckless Impulse is the uh, safe pick here though. Shout out to our friend the Blood Servitor uh, as well, but no, it will be, be a Reckless Impulse. And uh, Belligerent Guest is a nice, nice card to see here as well. Um, another potential for blood tokens. I do need to find a way to gain life to make that courier about better or additional ways to gain life. I'm hoping to pick up a vampire. Um, gluttonous vampire at some point, the one for the minx. So pseudo way to make uh, gain life here. Short strike is actually a worthy combat trick. If I could see a Markov Retribution at some point, that would actually be awesome. I expect to pick up another one of these later on. I might consider including it in the deck. This, this deck doesn't actually hate Ancestral ans uh, Angers either, so I can go there. Um, and I'm very happy to pick up an Undying Malice as well. Um, nothing green cards. And nothing blue card. Lista Watcher is terrific here. Absolutely terrific pickup. Saturate is also good. Potentially think about that. Wheeling, maybe. Starting to choke up a little bit on the. Well, not really on the four slots. Um, so, is it the best card in the pack? I would say the Lista Watcher is the best card in the pack. This can just turn the tide of a game. Um, second best card. Probably two carders. But uh, there's enough one power, to, one toughness uh, stuff in this format to make the Blister Washer excellent. And the not being able to block claws is also just superb. Well, that is intriguing. This card comes with some real downside. Being able to give your opponent an awful lot of blood tokens. 
allows them to, to sift for things. But I'm going to have one hell of a vampire squad and put it in there and four mana, five, six flyer. Sometimes you just can't deal with it. And so I don't think I can't, I don't think I can say no to it. Well, now, since we are choking up a little bit now with some fairly difficult mana costs, I'm going to prioritize the Blood Petal Serpent over the Ridge Wolf and over the Scavenger. Slightly concerning that our, it's, it seems to be more green and blue that's coming in our direction, but. It's not a huge problem. The the blood petal celebrant is a fine pickup here. Hmm, interesting. Another excellent vampire to add to the mix. Those two blood tokens can be extremely useful. I'll take vision really a lot of pressure very very quickly. Uh, it's a bit slow sometimes. However, it, it, you can crack in with it as a three one and then just activate it when you need to. I think I'm supposed to pick up the vision right here. Vampire's Vengeance is looking like a real card in this deck. We're already at five vampires. Literally doesn't kill. It kills the Voltaic Visionary, but only in its wizard form rather than berserker form. Yeah, I think I think Vengeance is a huge pickup here. Not a lot going on here. Already got the one shot strike. Am I supposed to take a second on Dying Malice? No, I think the sensible option here is to pick up the same breed. We're actually tasked like to take quite a few instances of lotteries. The Fangs is excellent in our deck. They've got so many vampires for its target, and it can sometimes just catch someone out. I'm more than happy to take the Gift of Fangs. I'm still looking for those blood makers. I think it's why Dying Serve has uh, wound up all the way down here. I think I'm happy to take another courier bat here. Just getting some flies on the board, being able to jam in the air is going to be an important aspect of this deck. And fine, I'll take another flame breather. And I think we might be getting a lot of nothing. Hey, that's actually not bad to see either. Um, and wheeling the celebrants is, is kind of the best thing ever here. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, an on colour mythic. Funny, we've got mythic rare, mythic on colour in the four colour in the four slots. I think that's an immediate replacement for. The lightning wolf. Possibly hoping to wheel the Lacerate Flesh now. Hero's Downfall as well. I, it's sad to be passing a Hero's Downfall, but I mean, I can't in good conscience pass the Maniform Hellkite. 
So there is that. Okay. 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 This this deck is becoming one of the the most stacked that I have ever drafted. I mean, it's, there's even potential for us to wheel the Markov Retribution here. I do need to worry a little bit about the, the pips, but the power level is starting to become utterly, utterly insane. I'm actually thinking I do need to pick up the, uh, the Mana Rock at some point, getting past the heroes down for third pick. Okay. Okay. All I need to get is the red black gold vampire two drop. And uh, life is good. Yeah, all right. I'll take that. I just stack my board with flame breathers, come up the ground and go in the top of the top with my stonking great power. Probably. And they sit out of the reach of Vampire's Vengeance. Yeah. All right. Necroduality, eh? Hmm. I don't think I want a second Lydrum Guest. I think I do actually want a Vampire's Kiss here. Works very well with the Flame Breathers. And Ceremonial Knife also works well with the Bleed Breathers. So that's a decent pick up here as well. Okay, I can handle that. How many vampires have I got? Seven. Yeah, I think I have to take the mark off retribution. It works so well with all of the Kessigs. Yeah, all right, I'll take that. <laughs> Why not? I'll take that. We did wield the Lacerate Flesh. Okay, this is going to be an interesting deck build. Very interesting deck build indeed. Second mark of Retribution. Second Ancestral Anger. Okay, I love this deck so much already. It's just, <laughs> it's impossible to cast half of my cards because mana is going to be a difficult, difficult thing to come by. Okay, so how am I building this? With The intention of gumming up the ground and then using the power at the top end to just punch through. I think that means we're not bothering with these.
only ways to connect we have.
do I need three of brains? How's the print, my love? Yeah, it works in the end. It's the only way you made me go through the whole alignment process and go to work. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's annoying. Oh, sorry about that. Not so She's just so bad. So bad. Is this it? Is this it? It's something, isn't it? It's something. Do I definitely want this? Just got so many evasive threats. I think that's what I want. I think that is what I want. That was a that was a sick draft. That was a sick draft. All right, fail a lot. Yeah, I can keep this hand on the draw. That's fine. Opponents mulligans, even better. The reckless impulse just helps us find land. If we need to. I'm gonna play the second swamp next just in case I have to do heroes downfall. How on earth does the blood bells ever get through a 1 3? That's very flesh, huh? So, what are my options here? I could Reckless Impulse to find something, but I don't need to. I could play Blood Petal Celebrant, hold up the Undying Malice. That feels good. That's, that's right, Flesh is going to be a great target for Henrika, so it's important that I hold up the Undying Malice for her. Uh, later on. So I think we do this for now. Hold. Yep, I have to take the that in the air. Could do with one of those braids. Yeah, okay, that is going to be a problem if they. Yeah, that's a pretty good pull, isn't it? That is a pretty good pull. Should probably attack with the blood petal first, though. Okay, 
an extra ping from that. Are you going to sack the blood vessel celebrant for? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. You've got a flame reaver as well. How about that? Okay, let's put down a mountain. Oh no, let's put down a swamp. And I will draw a card and lose a life off this. Because it will... They're going to want to kill it anyway. It's a nice pick up there. Turn there. Activate insta kill. Oh, okay. Straight in with the ancestral anger to try and burn me out to hit the land. Yep, there we go. Now I'll be able to pay back all that life I've lost. You sure you want to do that, opponent? Okay. Be my guest. Okay, so let's flip and attack. Concedes. Game one, win. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Eat my mythic plays. I think the good play there was to hold up the Undying Malice knowing that they had a kill spell in hand. So I've never been impressed by the Wandering Mind. Just telegraphing what opponent's going to play. Um, and we had a pretty disgusting hand there that was going to give us lots and lots of options in future turns as well. So I'm very happy with how that game panned out. All right, well, on to game two. Ali G is in the house. Okay, so, we've only got one black card in hand. And we are on the draw, which is actually where I like to be with this hand. I don't think we need to mulligan here, actually. White. Okay. Straight in there with the ceremonial knife. Let's get our thing breather down. Flyers. It's going to get. Let's hope we pull up our. Uh, um, yeah, you're going to attach the knife and attack, aren't you? Yes, that is a, an annoyance. No blocks. Well, I guess we're 
attacking and dropping the belligerent guest this turn. Next turn, worst case, Reckless Impulse and Winning Invitation, ping for some amount of damage. Hmm. Am I blocking here? I think I might be blocking here. It forces them to try and make a play. I'm fine with that. I really am. Okay, well, looks like we're going to have to impulse. No, it's not the most manner efficient play, but I think our gift of fangs is uh, is good here. Cassie Flame Beer, Reaver being MVP. Well, that's what you're going to think of hate. Interesting. Running out of cards in. And friend. Probably got a counter spell of some kind, right? Let's try it. There's an underwhelming creature here. Yeah. It's also, they are just going to run out of cards eventually, though. Can't have a counter spell in every hand. I can only keep taking hits for this drug school infantry for so long. Ah, yes. Well, now they've just hit refresh, haven't they? Got some gas. Got some good gas. Again, holding up my bomb with the Undying Malice. Although susceptible to bounce here. I think I'm actually supposed to block the Drog Skull Infantry here. Let that resolve. 
이렇게 작성을 해. 아, 그래서 아까 이렇게 찬주죠, 이거. 저희가 가서 포탈 마실게. you have anything to attach it to. The Griff Rider. Intriguing. Making a 4-4 every combat isn't going to do it for you here though, is it? So I guess we have to play this to draw a card. these two. Get our brothers to watch her down. Alright, well, we can stress and lethal this turn. That's a draw and a half. So I think I still have everything here. Because if they block this, I will be able to just ping at the start of next turn. You can't have Fierce Retribution, Piercing Light doesn't do anything. Game two in the bag. <laughs> Ending both games with uh, Olivia's attendance in hand. Doesn't bother me too much. My uh, my braids have been rather shy, but uh, oh well. All right. Two games in. Five to go. Yeah, I can give that. Note that the opponent is playing first again. Although, mulliganing again. Alright, so I guess we. Try and get aggressive here. Putting a vampire down so we can punch up if needed.
We can't be mono green stompies. So playing out the belligerent guest because Markov retribution goes rather well with that. Yeah, I'll take it. I think we are racing here. Choose both. Target vampire. Let's hope it's useful. Missing a land, not great. Vampire's Vengeance is looking a little bit ropey. However, being able to use it as an instant is good. Oh, good lord. Okay. That is something. You may have lost this game. Put it on the open world, obviously. Put it on the rip hook. Put it on the rip hook. Yes, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I think we may have just lost this now. Yeah, I see the value of this attack from Lapo. Well, okay, so they were silly to play everything out. Probably going to lose anyway, but oh boy, do I ever need a mountain right about now? Sorry, a swamp. I think going to do it. That also isn't going to do it. And then they can just activate. Gross. Gross, 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 gross. Says, but still, yeah, that's that's not useful. That is not useful. Cool, GG. Punish for not drawing one there. I'm beaten by an extremely powerful rare. But we've got some of our own, so not to worry. Okay. Let's continue.
no, I'm just, yeah, that, that game was all about not getting lands where I needed them. On the draw for the fourth time in a row. Feels bad, man. However, I do like my hand. And it is a good hand to have on the draw. I fall down and so I'm knife. Okay, so it might be the epic here. Lots of people playing the knife, hey? Let's see how quickly they have got the photos. I'll let them do two. See what happens. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to take out Spore Crawler, unfortunately. It feels rough giving down the card. Actually, no, I think I have to take out the Serum because of First Strike. Good, I need some gas. So, playing out the Phone Breather isn't great. I think the first thing I'm not drawing cards is fine because we've got the impulse. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So, I'm going to just decline to exploit. If you're just going to do that, I will go through. Evil is to watch her. I think we just get to hundred is out here. Gonna need another braid for the blister washer. Oh, we've got a card drawer and two cards to look at. We've just chomped our way through a lot of land. So, blocking options are the Felstinger or the two classic flame breathers. You can very much have Sure Strike up, in which case I prefer sticking this here, knowing that we can get damage off the flame breathers from Reckless Impulse. And that's fine, that's useful in a manner. They've not got, um, they've got a card in the blood token out of it, which, is, which isn't a huge amount. Can I recruit the knife? Hmm. Knowing I've got heroes don't fall in my deck, I actually just go mountain mountain for my reckless impulse. I still need to find it. I can potentially play two skulls as well.
Yes, I'm playing the belligerent guest. They have a land. I'm so messed up. Oh well, no, because it's going to flip back today at least. Gross. Double gross. Triple gross. Quadruple gross. Yeah. Both of those to watch are tough, too scary. Sorry. And I just played that as well. That was silly. Got a massive light as well, then this is just worst day at the office. I guess I just have to abrade. Alana and Helena. Are we racing now? Just too disgusting.
ですが来ていないしまあいつはでしょうサイズ見ないそれで、それで、それは
Intriguing. Oh, interesting. Yep, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe I won't take it. Am I racing? Six versus seven versus six. No, I don't think I'm racing. Yeah, yeah, I'll take one. Oh, I could really stop to do with not drawing a land, eh? Seriously, Dad. Seriously, Jack. This is just abominable. I'm very frustrated right now. I'll take it. It's like one of the lowest impact cards I could have drawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell.
Well, what an absolute pasting. It started off really well and then just went 2 3. Have another error. Um, drew 1 2 3. Drew a lot of land that game. Um, that is 4, 5, 9, 11, 12 land in 18 cards. So 2 and 3 of my cards. Lands. That was very disappointing. I don't think I misplayed. Just quite upset, really. It was very sad. Oh well. There we go. What a waste of gems. Played five games. It's a thousand gems per game. 